GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Now you may be saying to yourself, Nate, what if I don't have a tuner with me? And that's a very good question. You have to tune your guitar by ear. And as long as one of your strings is close to you know what it should be, like say your E string is pretty close, or in the general ballpark, you can tune your guitar to itself so you don't really have to have a tuner. You can kind of get it there without it. So let's say our E string was pretty close to being in tune. I'm going to mess up some of the other strings real quick just for fun. So we know that should be an A, but I messed it all up, so it's not. So what you do is if your E string is kind of in tune, go up to the fifth fret of your E string. Fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five. Put your finger down on that string, hit that string, and then hit the A string again, the fifth string at the same time with it. Those two notes should sound the exact same. Not even close. And this is the part of tuning your guitar by ear that's going to take some work for you to experiment around with to see, does that note need to go up, or does it need to come down, how far up or down does it need to go. And the, the only way to get you good at that is to just practice it. And if you tune with your tuner, your ear, your electronic tuner, your ear will start to kind of pick up on what's going on and if a note needs to come up or down. So the best advice I have for you if you're not good at tuning a guitar by ear is to practice with your electronic tuner and kind of start training your ear to see if a note needs to come up or down. So let's do that again, the fifth fret on the sixth string and play that and the open fifth string. Now I know just my ears telling me that that open fifth string needs to come up. Quite a ways up. Now let's get it it's close. It's pretty good, it's pretty close. Now once you have that string in tune, you're going to do the exact same thing as far as the fifth fret is concerned. We're going to go over to the fifth string, fifth fret, play that note and then play the next string open, the fourth string. So fifth and fourth together. That one I left in tune so that's pretty good. Next note over, go to the fifth fret of the fourth or D string, play that note and then play the third string open. That's really bad. Now my ear is telling me that that open third string needs to come up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to crank on that. Get it close. That's pretty close. Okay, now this is where your formula kind of changes a little bit when you're tuning by ear. You have to go instead of the fifth fret of the G string, the next string over, you're going to go just to the fourth. So you have to go five, five, and when you get to the G, back down to the 4th fret, play that note on the 3rd string, the G string, and then play the B string open. That's pretty close. I could use a little bit of adjustment. There you go. That's pretty close. Okay, for the last string in your tuning by ear little formula, you're going to come over to the 2nd string, back to the 5th fret, play that note, and then play the high E string open. This one I think is going to be pretty bad. That's really bad. My ear's telling me that this high E string is sharp, or it's too high, so it needs to come down. We need to back off a little. So. That's pretty close. It's not perfect. I'd have to, usually I would go through that whole process again just one more time to kind of hone things in. But you get the idea. That's pretty good. And we started off with a guitar that was really bad and nasty sounding and out of tune. So practice that on a regular basis. And you'll, you may not be great at it right now, but if you keep practicing, you'll get better at it.